Welcome to this lecture on computer architecture. Today we will discuss about uh, branch prediction. So this is uh, one of the techniques to mitigate uh, the control stall stalls because of the control hazards. So in the in the last lecture we discussed about the notion of branch delay slots, introducing stalls, uh, introduction of knobs and uh, can we do better by you know putting an additional alu in the decode stage to mitigate the stalls so in this video the assumption is still uh, the conditional branches are evaluated in the execute stage so keep that in mind while uh, going through this lecture so quick recap uh, when we talk about the branch instruction the first three in instructions are actually the key Fetch, decode, and execute. Uh, some branches are kind of uh, we know whether they will be taken or not taken, uh, and the target in the decode, and the conditional ones we need to uh, get it done at the end of the execute stage, right? So this is the fetch stage. The PC uh, gets the value uh, based on the outcome of the branch condition, right? So the assumption that I have made in the beginning of the video is. Uh, we are assuming execute stage is actually the stage where we know all the branches are either taken or not taken okay so that's that's the worst case even for the conditional branch we will know at the end of the execute stage which means so that there is a two stall cycle or there is a bubble for uh, two cycles and within those two cycles whatever instructions we have fetched they are actually in the wrong path and we should be uh, killing them right so in the context of uh, control hazard how a branch predictor can help so what we can do at this moment let's assume it's a black box as the name suggests it predicts the branch so when you say predicts it actually predicts whether it will be taken or not taken whether the condition is true or not and if it is taken where exactly it is right with what what is the target address right but before that it should actually know whether it's a control instruction or not whether it's a branch instruction or not once you know it's a branch instruction you should take uh, the predictor and uh, predict whether it will be taken or not taken if taken uh, what's the target address okay so a quick recap uh, if you remember the last lecture we we were actually predicting pc equal to pc plus four you can say that's a trivial branch predictor right and we are killing uh, all the wrong path instructions in today's lecture we will uh, start looking into a uh, predictor in a more detailed way so the predict should happen at the or the predictor should predict at the beginning of the fetch stage because if you do it at the decode stage again uh, there, there is no point you have already lost one cycle because of the bubble right so once you know uh, whether the next pc is a branch pc or not that's the first step then if it's a branch will it be taken right everything should be done uh, in in the fetch stage remember and if taken what's the target address right so but if you look at all the steps right it, it it looks impossible to do why because all these informations are available at the end of the decode or execute stage right so first of all we know whether a branch uh, whether a pc is a branch pc or not in the decode stage then it will be taken or not taken and if taken where, where exactly it should go all this will be in the execute stage so how exactly will our uh, design a branch predictor that will predict everything in the fifth stage so just a deeper view into the task that a branch predictor has to perform it should say whether the pc is a branch if yes can you predict the direction so we are kind of fine uh, we are kind of uh, going in a fine grained way we are distinguishing prediction of target address from the direction so direction is taken or not taken okay once taken then what's the target address so okay for we need one predictor just for the direction then we need another predictor to get the target address if it's a taken branch and before that obviously we, we should know whether it's a branch or not so let's see uh, through this animation uh, so let's say this is the address of the current branch. Uh, this is the program counter. What we need is a direction predictor, which is 
at this moment is a black box but this predictor says okay the branch will be taken or not taken based on that you will actually select either pc plus 4 or the target address next will be the repository of target addresses in the form of a buffer called branch target buffer because it's storing all the targets for a branch okay so if you are getting a hit in the btb and it is also taken right so that means this is true this is true this becomes true right then in that case you actually fetch the target address from the btb right so if you look at in total we have added two additional structures one which predicts the direction one which provides the target address so if we look at uh, a simple way of uh, branch prediction even a compiler can actually predict the way we are uh, speculating uh, last time right always pc plus 4 so in that case you don't need a btb it's pretty simple right you don't need a direction prediction also with all, every time you are going to pc plus 4 uh, empirically the accuracy is around 30 to 40 uh, percent for these predictors let's do the other way around if we do always taken we don't need a direction prediction right? the direction predictor structure is no more needed because every time it's taken but now because every time it's taken we need a btb which will provide the target address right so this, this provides a better accuracy around 60 to 70 percent and uh, most of the time it works for the loop branches which is also known as the backward branches because most of the time the branches are usually taken within a loop okay imagine you are uh, going through a big for loop and uh, apart from the first few conditions it will be taken right but uh, if we start predicting in the uh, micro architectural way that means you need to put a structure in your processor which will actually predict whether the branch will be taken or not and if taken where exactly it should go then we should come up with uh, hardware idea so micro architecture idea so the first one which is the simple trivial one will be last time predictor so last time predictor says whatever you have done last time let's assume you will do the same thing in the next iteration okay so this will be a state machine for the last time predictor last time if a particular pc was not taken right so you predict that it's not taken and as long as you are actually not taking it so you are kind of improving uh, the accuracy the other extreme will be if you have taken last time this predictor will say yeah, yeah even next time also you will take the branch right the state machine uh, changes whenever you make a uh, wrong prediction which means you have predicted that you will be uh, not taking a branch but actually it was a taken branch so then you move to this particular stage which which uh, predicts that yeah next time you will take it right so which means if you look at uh, the takeaway here the takeaway is uh, on one misprediction, right? You are actually switching your state, so it's it's it's, it's not allowing you to make uh, more mistakes. The moment you saw that okay, you have predicted that it will be taken, but it's actually not taken, so you are going back to not taken. Uh, you have predicted that. It will be not taken but actually it's taken so you are moving to the predict taken state basically it's a state machine where you just need to uh, store either zero or one let's say zero is for not taken one is for taken right so how exactly we'll implement so we'll take few bits from the pc remember the program counter and that the, those bits will actually index into the direction predictor okay and the indexing is nothing but a searching mechanism at this point we will go into the indexing mechanism in more detail uh, later you can assume this is like an array index right so given a index i you are actually going to a particular entry in this particular direction predictor so this direction predictor since we are dealing with k bits of branch address so this stores let's say 2 to the power k entries and each of these entry is one bit so that will store 0 1 0 1 0 1 so 0 stands for not taken 1 stands for taken okay so the outcome of this direction predictor is 
the content of this particular entry. If it is zero, it predicts it won't be taken. If it is one, it will predict that it will be taken. Okay. So for for a you know if you are taking a branch continuously for a longer period of time or if you are not taking a branch for a longer period of time you will get a good good amount of accuracy around 90 percent of accuracy right but remember this particular uh, last time predictor will always mispredicts the last iteration and the first iteration of any loop branch so you, imagine you are entering into a for loop for the first time you you uh, make a mistakes uh, you make a mistake in the very first iteration and in the last iteration right so if you are iterating it for n times, you are making uh, two mistakes. So n minus two uh, uh, by n is actually your accuracy. Right? So if you have uh, loop branches with large number of iterations, right? So let's say millions of iterations, if not millions, at least thousands of iterations, right? So then, then this predictor is good. You, you will actually uh, make almost no mistake, right? Uh, the accuracy will be 99.99 something. But if you have loop branches with small number of iterations, let's say you are just iterating two times, then the accuracy will be zero. You will make the mistake on the very first iteration, and you will make the mistake in the very last iteration. And uh, anyway, you are actually uh, going through the loop only twice. So, if we look at uh, so th this is actually one of the example where you will get a zero percent accuracy if you are switching between taken not taken, and the uh, PC is actually behaving in a, in a ping pong mode. So accuracy will be zero percent. So let, let's look at our performance. What, what, what can we get if we have a last, uh, sorry, last time predictor? So performance, again, in terms of CPI, we are assuming 20% of the instructions are branch, and the branch predictor has 85% accuracy, which means the ideal CPI we started with pipeline is one, right? Now, because of uh, branch prediction inaccuracy, there will be some stalls, and that will increase our uh, CPI, which is not a good thing. So what is happening? So for 20% of the branches, the branch predictor has made mistake 15% of the time with 85% accuracy. So for those 15%, we have added two stall cycles, right? So this two stall cycles is because we are getting everything at the end of the execute stage. We will know whether the branch will be taken and if taken, where exactly it should go. So for 15% of the time out of, uh, all the predictions that we have made we will introduce a delay of two cycles right so uh, that that makes it our uh, cpi equal to 1.06 which, which is uh, worse than uh, uh, the basic cpi of uh, one okay so to make it better uh, you can actually go for something called a two bit predictor so the last time predictor was a one bit predictor either you are storing zero or one now you can store zero 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 one one zero or one so this is what this predictor is actually doing. So what you can do is, even if you make one mistake, you can still continue uh, predicting the same thing. For example, you are predicting that the branch won't be taken. And uh, sorry, so let, let, let's let's look at uh, the, this particular uh, state here. Let's say that you are, you are predicting that the branch won't be taken and you have actually taken a branch. But still it continues here right? uh, it changes or it switches after two mistakes so in the one bit predictor you are making one mistake two bit predictor the takeaway is the prediction change happens after two misprediction okay so you can name these states uh, as this 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. You can say 1, 1 meaning strongly taken, 0, 0 meaning strongly not taken, right? And uh, if you want to move from, uh, let's say, strongly not taken to any of the taken states, you have to make two mistakes or two mispredictions. Okay. So uh, you can actually calculate uh, or you can actually look at the act patterns where uh, two-bit predictor will uh, make a better job. For example, the context that I was discussing previously, taken, not taken, taken, not taken, taken, not taken, right? For this particular sequence, two-bit predictor will uh, do a better job, right? So with that, I, I'll kind of uh, stop here. We'll continue our discussion on this branch predictor in the next video. Uh, go through uh, this uh, two predictors and uh, correlate with the 
control flow access patterns where they will fail or where they will where they will uh, perform better with that thank you